Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at lesson 6, homework, okay. So question 1. Solve the system of functions by graphing. So we're going to graph both of the lines. We're just studying, let me see. Um, don't have to use that, just put it here. Uh, the first line is 8, but it's rise over 1. Uh, negative 2, so it's 2, 2, no, 2, 4. Okay, because it's negative, so it's going down 2 and run 4. So that's the first one. Second one, uh, 9 over 2, negative 2. So we're going to start with negative 2, but rise over 1, rise 9 over 2. Rise 9 from negative 2 to 7. To seven, two, so seven, seven, two. So rise to seven, run to two. Okay. So now what is this point? Let me check. Is it graphing to the graphing system? Oh, that's the eight. Um, two, four here, and uh, negative two, uh, nine over two. So go up to seven two. Okay, so we can see that the point actually is um, two seven. So we can type in two seven. Okay, so this is a consistent or inconsistent. So it is consistent. It has a solution. If it does, ha it ha if it has a solution, it is consistent. Inconsistent means that there is no solution. Are the equations dependent or independent? They are uh, independent because they don't. Dependent means they have the same. Uh, if they are parallel, they are dependent. Okay. If the independent means they don't have anything really just one point okay it's independent so next one 8x minus 4y equals negative 28 4y minus 8x equals 28 they are exactly the same equation if you look at this if you divide the first equation or you multiply the first equation by negative 1 you're going to get exactly the second equation so by me all means is these two equations are exactly the same, although they have the opposite sign. So you multiply both sides by negative 1, you will get exactly the same second equation. So they're the same e equation. Okay. So it's one line. The solution, there are infinitely many solutions because they have so many points in common. Are they consistent or inconsistent? It is consistent because they have solutions. There's infinitely many solutions. But they are dependent. Okay. So solving the system by graphing, this one is x equals five is going to be just a vertical line. Uh, y equals negative two is just a horizontal line. So then you check the solution is going to be um, the x value is five. And the y value is going to be negative 2. And now they have there is one solution, so it is consistent. And this is independent. Solution of this equation, we don't have a graph anymore, so we have to solve it. So 2y plus x equals 9. Now x equals 5y minus 2. We plug x into here, we will have 2y plus 5y minus 2 because that, will, that is what x is, right? And then we only have one variable. This is called a substitution method. So we solve that, you get 7y equals 
11 we add 2 here add 2 here so 7 y equals 11 y equals 11 over 7 oh like that's y I need an x so not just y but I need an x So if y equals 11 of 7, I plug it back into here and solve, no, x actually is the second one, look, we have the x is here. So x equals 5, y minus 2. So I plug y into here is 5 times 11 over 7 minus 2, so which is 55 over 7 minus 2, so which is 55 over 7 minus 14 over 7, which is 41 over 7. So the solution is going to be 41 over 7 the 41 over 7 and the 11 over 7 oh, I need to do that Next question would be the same idea. What do you do? You can do 2x plus 4y equals negative 5. 2x minus y equals 7. With the substitution method, you can solve for y. But I'm going to use the animation, animation method. I multiply everything by negative 1 on the second equation. Basically, I reverse negative, positive, negative. Then add them together. Then this add together will be canceled. Add this together is 5y. Add this guy as a negative 12. So y equals negative 12 over 5. Since 2x minus negative 12 over 5, since 2x minus y equals 7, 2x minus y equals 7, the second equation. So this equals 7. So 2x plus 12 over 5 equals 7. Then subtract the 12 over 5 from both sides. So it's 12, 2x equals 7 minus 12 over 5. Then 2x equals 2 over 5. And then, no, um, this is a 35 over 5 minus 12 over 5. So 2x will equals 23 over 5. And x equals 23 over 10. So the solution is going to be 23 over 10. And then y is negative 12 over 5. So next one is it would be the same thing to do this x plus 4y equals 2 x equals 3 minus 4y so x is given plug into the first equation you would have 3 minus 4y plus 4y equals 2 the 4y cancel you get 3 equals 2 that's not going to be that's not right so there's no solution Hockey teams receive two points when they win and one point they tie one season. A team won a championship with 66 points. They won 12 more games than then tied. How many wins and how many ties did the team have? So basically you have, you're supposed to have win X and you tied Y. And then 2 points, 2X two plus Y, the total point 66. Each point they win, you got two points, they tie, got one point. So 2x plus y, the total point is 66. Now, they won 12 more games, they, they tied. So x minus y equals 12. And we solve x and y. Well, since I see a positive y and negative y, then I can add these two equations together. 3x plus 0 equals 78. Then x equals 26. 
So they did 26, they win 26. And then the tie, 26 minus 12 is 14. Okay. Um, so you just add this two equation, you got 8y equals 8 and y equals 1 and x equals 1 as well. So just type the equation and the 1. Next one is 7r minus 3s equals 23. 3s, 3, 3r minus 6s equals negative 9. So we multiply the first equation by negative 2. So we have negative 14r plus 6s equals negative 46. The reason I multiply the first equation by negative 2 because I want to cancel the negative 6. So if I multiply the negative 3 by negative 2, I have a positive 6. I multiply it by negative 2. Then I can cancel the 6x, 6x. Then add these two equations together, this will be canceled. So this would give me negative 11r. This is 0. Add this 2 is negative 55. So r equals positive 5. Once you solve r, plug r into either one of the equation, you can solve for s. So 7 times 5 minus 3s equals 23. So 3s e equals 35 minus 23. So 3s equals uh, 12. So s equals 4. So it's 4 and 5. Wait. So 3s s equals 4. Uh, R and S, so R is 5, I'll have to reverse it. I should put 5 and then 4. So next question, 2x plus 3y equals 4. 4x plus 6y equals 8. You can see they have a ratio. So you multiply the first equation by 2, multiply by 2, so it's 4x plus 6y equals 8. They're exactly the same equation. Okay, if you multiply the first equation by 2, both sides, you got exactly the same second equation. They're exactly the same line, so they have infinitely many solutions. 11. 0.03x plus 0.12y equals negative 0.96. 0.5x minus 0.7y equals 8.3. So the problem is we have uh, decimals here. We don't have to worry about that decimal because we can multiply everything by 100. So we multiply the first equation by 100, we're going to have 3x plus 12y equals 96, negative. Then I can divide the first equation by 3, all by 3 is x plus 4y equals negative 32. That's the first equation I can get to here. First, multiply by 100. Then, divide by 3. You got this. The second equation, I can multiply everything by 10. I got a 5x minus 7y equals 83. That's much better. So how do I solve it? You can multiply the first equation. x x is 4y is negative 32. You can multiply the first equation by negative 5. That can cancel with a 5. So negative 20y and the negative 5 is 160 and add on the second one is so negative 24y 27y x cancel out equals add this together 7 negative um, 16 15 7 okay so uh, the first equation multiply the first second equation 7y 83 Okay, that's right. Just double check, make sure I'm doing it right. 3x, 12y, 96. x plus 4y was negative that. Negative 5. Oh, I think it's positive. It's positive. Okay. This is a 3, 243. So y equals um, 243 divided by negative 27. 
and which is 243 divided by negative 27 which is 9 okay so it's negative 9 x equals y equals negative 9 so x plus 4 times negative 9 which is negative 32 so x equals negative 32 plus 36 which is 4 we got x equals 4 y equals negative 9 question one day a store sold 31 sweat sweatshirt one real one cost 11.95 and a yellow one white ones called 11.95 okay so in all what the visitors was well, so all right so basically you assume we have an x white and have y yellow and x plus y equals 31 that's how many so and the price for x is 11.95 x the y for 1 is 13.5 y equal total is 445 now it's solve for x and y okay and this is a little bit um, bigger number but it should not be a big problem in any way so you can use substitution or elimination I think we can do substitution you'll be much will be better okay so first, I don't like this decimal, so we can multiply both sides by 100. I got 11.95x plus 1350y equals 41445. Then there's no decimals, but we do have bigger numbers. That's not a problem. I can multiply the first equation by negative 1195x and minus 1195y, which is uh, 31. I can do... 31 so okay then 31 um 31 multiplied by 1195 equals 37 zero four five negative so I add it so plus four zero one four five okay so this is four one zero four zero one four five minus three seven zero four five equals so thirty one hundred then subtract this one it's five subtract this one it's five subtract this one it's one and divided by one five five equals so the x cancelled out y equals 20. if y equals 20 and the x equals 11 because together is 31. so white shirt is 11 and uh, yellow shirt is 20. Uh, soybean meal is 18% of protein, corn meal is 9% of protein. How many pounds of each should mix together in order to get a 360 pound mix of that 16% pro of protein? So suppose we have X of soy, uh, soybean and a Y of corn. Okay. Together, X plus Y equals 360 pounds. And then the protein 18% of X is the protein from soya bean and 9% from corn, cornmeal, so it's 9% Y. Together it's 316 times 16% of the mix mixture is the protein. And then this is how we set up the equation. Then we solve it. So 18% we can get all get rid of all the hundreds. So basically you're gonna have 18x plus 9y equals 360 times 16 equals 57060 okay so 18x plus 9y equals 5760 the other one you can multiply everything by negative 9 
So negative 9x, because I can, if I multiply everything by negative 9, that can cancel the positive 9. Or you can multiply everything by negative 18, that's fine, you can cancel x. So multiply by negative 9, 360 times 9, which is negative 3, 2, 4, 0. And plus 5, 7, 6, 0 equals, so you add them together, is 9x equals uh, 2, 5, 2, 0. Divide both sides by 9 equals, okay. So you divide by 9, divide by 9, so x equals 280. So x is 280, which is the uh, s. So this is 280, and then, wait. Five seven six zero. How many pounds of the cornmeal? Oh, the cornmeal is y, so it's just eighty. And then the other one is x, is two eighty. Because three hundred sixty minus for y, it, this is the soil bean. Okay, this is going to be the corn. This is eighty. We got together is three sixty. Okay. So next one. 6300 invested, part of 12% and part of 9%. The total yield is 66, six, oh, 660. How much was invested each rate? Okay. So together is x plus y equals 6300. And then 12% of x plus 9% of y, which is the return, equals 660. Okay, so now we solve this. What you can do, you can get rid of the uh, percent first. So you can get uh, 12x plus 9y. Since you multiply by 100, you got 6, 6, 0, 2 more zeros. Okay, now I write it here 12x plus 9y equals 6, 6, 0, 2 more zeros. Then I multiply the first equation by negative 9. Oh, by. Yeah, by negative, since they asked for 12%, either one is fine. So multiply by negative 9, so negative 9x minus 9y equals 6300 times 9 equals negative 5, 7, negative 5, 6, 7, 6, 7, 0, 0. If I add this two, then I can cancel the y. That's why I multiply the first equation by negative 9, right? Multiply this by negative 9, then I can cancel the 9y. So 3x equals minus six six zero 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 nine three hundred so x is thirty one hundred then twelve percent then y is um x is thirteen hundred and then we solve for y y is sixty three hundred minus thirty one hundred is thirty two hundred So now, next one. Is solving the uh, equation. Um, m plus 4 equals 18. So m plus 4 equals 18. Or m plus 4 equals negative 18. So m equals 14. Or m equals negative 22. So solution is going to be. 14 or negative 22. Okay, that's that's how that's everything. I finish everything. Okay, there's active learning. You need to finish that and uh, start. And uh, next, you can read that and close. Okay, hundred. Okay, so I save it.